for the coordinates of point G and K are this one and this one. So this one is J, this one is K. Point Q move such that so we know that QJ to QK is 2 to 3 which means QJ over QK is equal to 2 over 3. So when we cross multiply 3QJ is equal to 2QK. So this one is 3 time distance Q to J and is equal to 2 times the distance of Q to K. So here the point J is negative 1, 3 and point K here is 4, 6. So the formula of distance can be calculated by the distance of X, X minus X1 square plus the distance of Y. Okay. So basically this one is 3 QJ. So 3 times the distance of Q to J. So this one is X minus X1 is negative 1 square plus the distance of y is y minus 3 square is equal to so this one is 2 to the distance of qk so here the distance of qk x minus this one is 4 square plus y minus 6 square so here to remove the third we have to square both sides so here 3 square we get 9 so third can be eliminate right so x minus minus we get x plus one square plus y minus three square is equal to so this one two square we get four so this one is x minus four square plus y minus six square <coughs> so this one nine so this one x plus one square when we expand we get x square 2 times 1 times x we get 2x and then 1 square we get plus 1 so y minus 3 square here we get y square so 2 times y times negative 3 we get minus 6y so 3 square we get plus 9 so it's equal to so this one we have 4 when we expand x minus 4 square we get x square 2 times negative 4 times x we get minus 8x and this one 4 square we get 16 okay so this one we get plus y square 2 times negative 6 times y we get minus 12y and then 6 square we get 36 so here when we expand we get 9 so here is 9x square 9 times 2x we get plus 18x 9 times 1 we get plus 9 9 times y square we get plus 9y square 9 times negative 6 we get minus 54y and 9 times 9 we get plus 81 so here which is equal to so when we expand this one we get 4x square 4 times negative 8x we get minus 32x 4 times 16 we get 32 64 4 times y square we get plus 4y square 4 times negative 12 we get minus 48y and then 4 times 36 we get 144 so here we get positive 144 so we bring everything at one side so this one the value of square is larger so I bring everything to this side so here we have 9x square so I bring this one x square minus 4x square okay done with x square and then I have 9y square in this side. So I bring this one positive 4y to the other side become negative 4y square. Okay, so, uh, so x we have 18x. So here we have negative 32x bring at the other side 32x. Okay. And then we have y minus 54y. So do we have y here? Yeah, we have negative 48 become positive 48y. Okay, so the number here, this side we have plus 9 plus 81. So this side we have positive 64 become negative 64. Positive 144 become minus 144 equal to 0. So 9 minus 4 is 5x square. 9 minus 4 is 5y square. This one is positive, sorry. So 18 plus 32, we get 40, 50, right? So we get 50x. So negative 54 plus 48, we get negative 6y. Okay, and then here 90, 
So 90 minus 64 minus 144, here we get minus 118. Minus 118 is equal to 0. So this is the equation of locus Q. So 5 point R moves such that its distance from A is twice the distance from point B. So we know that RA to RB, so RA is twice the distance of RB. So RA over RB is equal to 2 over 1. So we can cross multiply. 2RB is equal to RA. Okay, so here A, this one is 6, 0. And then our B here is negative 3, 0, negative 3, 0. So here we know that 3, 2 RB, so we mean 2 times the distance between R and B. So X minus X1, so X minus negative 3 square plus Y minus 0 square is equal to, so the distance of RA is third. So we see here distance of X plus square plus distance of Y square. So here X minus 6 square plus Y minus 0 square. So to remove the third, we have to square, square both sides, square, square. So when we square here, 2 become 2 square. So third will be, can be cut off. So here we have x minus minus 3, right? So x plus 3 square plus this one is y square is equal to. So this one we have x minus 6 square plus y square. So here you can expand, you have 4. So x plus 3 square, when you expand, we get x square. 2 times 3 times x, we get plus 6x. 3 square, we get plus 9. Okay, y square, we get plus y square. Is equal to, so this one, when you uh, expand, you get x square. 2 times negative 6 times x, we get minus 12x. And then 6 square, we get plus 36 plus y Square. So this one we get 4x square. 4 times 6 we get plus 24x. 4 times 9 we get plus 36. 4 times y we get 4y square is equal to x square minus 12x plus 36 plus y square. So here we bring at one side, so we have x square and x square, so 4x square minus x square, see man. So we, okay. so we have 4y square here plus 4y square, this one we have plus y minus y square. Okay, so what else we have here, we have plus 24x, this one is minus 12x, we bring to the other side, become plus 12x. So here we have 36 and both sides. So actually we can just cancel out 36 is equal to 0. So this one we get 3 x square, 4 y square minus y square, we get plus 3 y square plus 24 x plus 24 plus 12 is 36 x is equal to 0. So we can see that we can divide everything with 3. So divide with 3, we get x square plus y square. 36 divided by 3, we get 12 x is equal to 0.